Hey, you building your first rook, your second rook, or third rook? This video is for you. Let's go! So I've built a lot of rooks, more than most. So I thought I would make this video to show you or tell you what you need to know before starting your book build. There's a couple of little things that me and the community thought you should know about building a rook. So let's go for a walk in my hometown and I'll show you some tips and some tricks. First thing is, you need to know what you're building. Are you building a Rook or a Rook 2020, the Scalable, or even the Bastion, the, the old 180? So have a look at some videos, check around, make sure you find the build that's right for you. A little tip is if you build a Rook, the normal Rook, you can upgrade that to a 2020 later on. Two. Use your spare parts. A lot of us have stuff laying around like motors, extruders, hot ends, main boards, pies, even wiring. You can use old wiring from other stuff. Maybe some tweaks are needed, but that's one way to do it. Uh, you don't need a heated bed. Just don't for PLA. Mods. There might be some mods that would suit your parts or your style a little bit better than the stock parts that we make. So head on over to the mods section, have a look, maybe you'll find something. Price. The, the Rook might not be the most economical build. It's certainly not as cheap as an Ender 3 or, or other bed slingers like that but it's not about the cost it's about having fun enjoying the process building your own printer it's uh... six um, read through the uh, build guide it's a great build guide um, look through the videos um, there's even a print guide on how to print your parts. Calibrate your printer. This just makes sure that everything fits together nicely, that your parts that you can't print fits with the parts that you have printed. So, just makes stuff easier. Just, just do it. Uh, print all your parts, uh, get your heat sets in, your nuts ready, make sure everything fits, and then start building. Whoa, dark. And uh, that way you don't have to take pauses in between waiting for prints, and uh, yeah, smoother, you know. We might like a smooth build, don't I need to stop these. Whatever, next point. Fasteners. You can never have enough fasteners. Bolts, nuts, heat inserts, T-nuts. You know. No, seriously. You can never have enough fasteners. Plastic. Uh, PLA is probably the best and easiest thing to start off with. Uh, it's rigid. It's it just works. It doesn't handle heat very well, so if a heated bed, get ABS or ASA. Um, my personal favorite, carbon fiber PETG. Super stiff. Hardware kits. Good quality parts for a decent price. You can't really go wrong, can you?
make sure that your files are up to date. Um, if you downloaded them a couple of weeks or months ago, maybe re-download. Uh, we do update them sometimes. This also applies for your mods. There may be changes uh, to your mod. Maybe not. Uh, but you might just save some hassle and just try it. Take your time. If you rush things, you make mistakes. Makes mis making mistakes can have you reprint a part that takes hours, or even break things you need to order more and you have to wait. So just take your time. Um, saves you money and actually saves you time sometimes. Ask for help. You may not want to, but uh, having someone there to help you it sure does make those earlier mistakes that I talked about uh, less frequent. So, if you don't have anyone, go to our Discord or uh, just ask someone in the comments. Go to your favorite YouTube video, use that comment. You can ask for help, help anywhere. Wow, talking so hard. Make sure you have the right tools for the job. Pliers, screwdrivers, fit sets, uh, crimpers, lube. Uh, also, a big thing is to have a nice working area that you can contain your stuff and make sure everything organized. It really helps you uh, enjoy the process. And the final thing, just have fun. This is a hobby. Don't take it too seriously. I do this on a walk remember take a break if you get frustrated ask for help as I told you and just have fun try to enjoy it this is about the process it's not about the finished project product even though the finished product is awesome because yeah well it just is okay just trust me it's 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 worth it just it's not a hassle it's... why did I take a walk That's my, I think, 16 things uh, to keep in mind. Uh, hope this helps you decide on where to build a uh, roof or not. Um, if you do, please uh, join us on Discord. We do really like to uh, keep up and, and look at what we've done. And uh, yeah, I, I need to get more in shape. This is, this is hard. Anyway, uh, leave a like, share it if you uh, want to show someone about building a rook and hit that subscribe button so that